Thanks for tuning in. This is Optibonimus Quinnish with another video review. And before we get to it, I'd like to take a real quick second to ask you to hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. And now on today's episode, thanks to the folks at Big Bad Toy Store, we're going to be taking a look at the Unique Toys Pong Collection of Tom and Jerry. Now, I'm not 100% sure which one is Tom and which one is Jerry. They're sold as a set, so I guess it really doesn't matter. You get them both. We're, we're going to call this one Tom. We're going to call this one Jerry. Yeah, yeah, sure. But as you can see, these are basically legend-sized versions of the Transformers Headmaster, Chrome Dome, and Weird Wolf. And they actually look really good. Now, starting off here with Tom, because I just decided to call him Tom. Like I said, really good representation of uh, how Chrome Dome looks. You got some nice paint applications with the red and the white. You got some nice blue here for the actual windshield itself and then you got some uh, molded plastic with where are going to become his arms you got kind of an off white and then you got some brown put through there you got the wheels obviously so he rolls uh, as you can see here at the top he does come with guns one thing that i will say is though the guns appear that they're actually painted uh, now these are technically test samples uh, the regular retail versions are available right now uh, so i don't know if they actually change this but you can kind of see that uh, there is some paint rub right there it, it doesn't bother me all that much because it's on the handle but you can see that both are getting it and then inserting it here in the holes has worn that down a little bit so now hopefully that's something that they fixed in the final one if not it doesn't like i said bother me all that much because when you peg it in there you don't even see it so it's not something that overly bothers me but good detail on these so setting those off to the side and like i said as you can tell by my hands these are basically as i'm flopping them all over the place uh, these are legend size figures and i think it's actually really very cool now you can open up uh, the front section here if i can get a little fingernail thing and there you go and you have what is basically a headmaster right i mean there's not a lot of detail you can actually see they got some uh, blue and yellowish paint there for the face. Uh, obviously, you can run here to the back, and that's Chrome Dome's head. Uh, not really any articulation. The arms are molded in one place, and then the uh, hips just kind of rotate, but you create his head. But I thought that's actually cool. Obviously, if these are going to be headmasters, you're going to need a headmaster kind of thing. So I thought that was pretty neat that they actually did it, but really very tiny. I mean, for a comparison, here's a new Titans Master figure. So very, very small. And actually get them to sit in here. One thing that uh, you, you got two different hinges right here, but you do have to kind of leave it bent at, at a certain way, like leave this one flexed up and then bend the actual legs to get them to fit in here. Because uh, if you just have this section all the way down, it, it really doesn't uh, fit inside the internal section all that well. I mean, you can't close this very easily. So you do have to leave the legs kind of straighten out like that and then fold the lower section forward like so and then just put them in there and it sits in there perfectly fine. So setting that there. Now to transform them, really very, very simple, but actually kind of cool. You're going to detach these side panels right here and then swivel these pieces around go ahead and separate them obviously these are his legs and then take these little pieces rotate that and tuck that down around the inside so again rotate that down and then tuck that in one thing that's actually kind of cool uh, if you don't want to have him holding the gun you can actually store him here on the back you got those little peg holes that kind of show up and you can slot this on the inside there and it puts a little tab kind of coming through there but you can actually store his weapons on the back of his legs which i thought was kind of a neat touch i'll leave that out for now and then just hinge these down hinge that down and then rotate this whole section down and around rotate these arms spin that rotate spin that and then straighten everything out and then obviously take his headmaster guy, stick that in there, and boom, there you go. So uh, very simple. L like I said, Legend Scale, they did some pretty cool things. I, I do like how they did the legs, but it, it definitely works for the transformation. Uh, I, I really like that. Now for Jerry here, as you can see, Weirwolf. Again, you got his uh, little weapon right up here, which is really cool. Uh, not really any paint rub because it's just this molded plastic. Didn't have to worry too much about that. Uh, but good detail on this as well. I really like the transformation on this guy. Uh, probably more than this one. There's a little bit more involved. Uh, you can see articulation-wise, he can open his mouth, uh, this section here. Can look up and down uh, just as part of the transformation mostly, but y you get that kind of gap sort of thing. Uh, the arms are on ball joints, so you can move that around the lower part 
portion our own ball joints the back legs are basically locked with the exception of the lower section you can move that forward but i, I think just having them stand there is perfectly fine i guess you can move the tail up and down uh, he also does come with his little the riding buddy I, I forgot what they actually call him but uh much like chrome domes it, it just very minor detail you got some yellow and red paint on there and then you rotate that around as well and you got nice detail for uh, Weirwolf. So really, really very cool. Uh, now for his transformation, go ahead and remove this. This is going to become his tail sword weapon when you remove it. Bring that close like so. So now you have a little handle sort of thing right there. Bring this out. Go ahead and detach these. And swivel these around. So swivel these. Detach that from there. And then bring this whole section. And you tab that together just like that. This section lifts up, then you swivel this piece down, come around here, rotate this around, bring these all the way down like that. Take this whole section, this tucks up and underneath there, the arms straighten out, rotate that section down, you got his hands, rotate that around. This, you just rotate this back, kind of put the head right there. Obviously then take his headmaster, stick that on there and there you have that jerry or, or tom I, I i don't know i mean whatever their names are it, you know it is what it is but there you have them really cool though i mean i i do love the way these guys turned out now for comparison here they are next to the legend class bumblebees so you can see uh, size wise they're actually a little bit taller not a ton but they scale very nicely with the legend size now the question is do you want legend size versions of werewolf and chrome dome in your collection i i, mean, I don't know i think they're pretty neat looking uh, articulation here the uh, shoulders here are on ball joints nice range of motion there obviously the lower portion of the arm are on ball joints uh, he can rotate here at the uh, upper torso ball jointed hips ball jointed knees so nice range of motion uh, the only thing in, in the same level of articulation really here for uh, jerry except that uh, you don't have the uh, ball joints for the uh, elbow those are just on swivels but everything else is ball jointed uh, and also does rotate there now the only thing that does kind of stink is they can't rotate at the head um that's the only i guess downfall really uh, if you ask me for the articulation everything else is pretty much there that you would want so uh, generally speaking you know the articulation is really nice uh, on these uh better than what we get on some official figures to be totally honest uh but really cool uh, like i said i do think that the the weird wolf figure here has a better transformation than uh, the chrome dome one but both of them are still really fun and pretty easy to actually do good detail on them you can see paint wise they look really nice uh you can actually rotate or maybe flex this uh, fingernail in there you can actually lift that up and you can see he's got his tech specs under there which is really cool same thing here with the chrome dome guy uh, i just gotta get my finger nail in there so you do have the tech specs uh, it goes up instead of folding down like the original one but you know at least it still has it so really cool uh, I, I dig them and the price is actually really good on them for both of them it only costs 45 bucks you know which works out to be about 22 dollars a figure which yeah 22 dollars for a legend size figure may be a lot but it's third party so in higher prices are things that we're used to transformation is actually again very simple going back as well so we're going to take the gun off we're going to take that off put that aside go ahead if you had this stored in the back of his leg remove that just like that and take these arms collapse these up you can obviously remove the little headmaster section rotate this chest piece around spin these around as well then bring these out along the side and swivel that up right towards the front of the shin. Do that on this side as well. Swivel, rotate, and then you bring these two together. Now, uh, this this can be a little bit tight there. And then pop that in just like that. Make sure you get that completely compressed and then just rotate that around just like so. Rotate this around like that. Tab that in there. Rotate this around like that. Oh no, you want it. Is that the right way? Yeah, that, that kind of looks about right. No, oh, well, no. Okay. That looks about right. There we go. And then tab that in along the side. And there you have Tom or, or whatever in his little vehicle mode. Now, for Jerry here, you take this. Again, the transformation for this one's a little bit more involved, and I kind of like it a little bit more. Rotate these little pieces out. Again, take the headmaster off, set that off to the side. Then bring this section around just like that. Bring these arms 
around like so rotate him at the waist so that uh, this leg with this section here is going to be on the top section and then you rotate him here at the knee make sure you fold this all the way out so that it's extended like that and then bring this across the top just like so just sit it right there then come around here to the bottom uh, this i actually have to wedge these because you know no fingernails and i don't have very good dexterity so <laughs> we're just rotate this around this whole section here then swivels up bring this down oh i rotated that the wrong way so bring this then, oh duh all right <laughs> all right fiddle with that till you get that around tab that in along the side tab this i'll oh, detach that didn't have that straight tab that in tab that in that locks that into place push this down here like that position these get that back like so straightened straighten that get that like that and then you just take his little tail section here you fold this like that and you got a little hook section right here that you slot that in right there get that wedged in there very nicely and there you have uh, jerry <laughs> again i don't know if that's their names but that's what i'm calling them yeah that actually tabs in right there uh, but there you have them both in their alternate modes uh, again really fun i, I do like them uh, i think legend size works pretty good with them obviously if you're going to have things like uh, fort max in your collection and the scale is something that bothers you with the uh, the deluxe size figures you know playing with you know those large uh, figures with that large playset, uh, that's gonna bother you this is actually a really good scale uh, for that so I, I think that these work very nicely like i said cheap I, I i don't think that they're overly expensive plastic quality is actually really very good on them now there's not really an aspect on here even though like i said these are test samples i don't think that there's a, a section on here that i really feel uh needs to be improved on uh, I, I think that some of the paint applications could be a little bit better uh, such as this maybe instead of making it a, a red paint make the entire thing molded red so that you don't get that but that's you know a minor thing because like i said that's on the handle the rest of the figures though I, I like the way they look and i'm looking forward to checking out the other ones so if Tom and Jerry here are figures that you'd like to add to your collection, they are available right now at Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on these as well as the rest of the wide range of unique toy figures. But beyond that guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out. Also, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you never miss out on a future review of mine. Or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click on that little bell on my homepage and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other.